we are working on work, uh, creating our day in the life video with the YouTube video editor. So first we want to create a pie chart from the data we gathered over 24 hours. And you can see that I went into Google Sheets and I created a new document. I typed in the number of hours broken down over 24 hours, the percentage, so eight hours of sleeping and so on and so forth. And then I put a keyword to represent which each field meant. Then I clicked insert, went down to chart, and I created a pie chart. While I was in here, I made the text bigger, so it's really visible in the audio or in the video itself. And then I clicked on here and click, uh, downloaded the chart by saving the image. Then I went over to the video editor, and I uploaded the image by clicking on whoa, I'm zooming in here, uh, clicking here, adding photos, and uploading photos by clicking here clicking here or dragging the images in here and then uploading them. And you can see that I have some images here. I also gathered some other images that help reinforce what I'm trying to say. For instance, in the presentation itself, you can see that, I'm wait for this to render, uh, I have these seven categories that I'm talking about, so I wanted to have an image representing each one of them. And I kind of created a rhythm, so I start off with time, then I see the pie chart talking about sleeping, then reference the pie chart again, talk about the next thing, and on and on and on. And then the last slide, I have citation of my sources that I got from the Creative Commons. And how did I get them from the Creative Commons? I went to search.creativecommons.org, I typed in a keyword, I hit search on Flickr, and what you get is a result like this, and then I scrolled down and I found the one I wanted, I clicked on it, and what I do is I look at the name of the image, because I'll need that, I need four things today's date, Flickr, the name of the image, and the username. And so when I click here, I like to click on 500 to 600, and I could download it. Um, but also, view all sizes, I like to go to this option first, and I can see which one I want. And then here is where I can see the username, so I need that. And when I uh, go to download it, I'll right-click on it, and I'll save image as. And what I do is I type in all the information I need for the name of that picture. So it's the date, Flickr, the username, and then the name of the picture. And this is from a previous image I saved. But the username and then the name of the picture. Then I save it, and you can see that I have the information saved so that when I create the last slide in the or graphic in the video, I can see the information. So what I did is I said all Creative Commons, image, Creative Commons images are from Flickr on today's date. Then I had the username and name of the picture in the order that they showed up in the presentation. And the idea is that if somebody wanted to go back and find this image, they could go to Flickr, go to this user's account, and search for time, and they would be able to find that image. And that's all. Can they you know, fairly easily find the resource? You are citing your sources because that's what the Creative Commons demands, and you have that. So that's how we get started. Now, the next piece I would do is, uh, once I stitch all this together, I be, would compose my script on how I want to say what I want to say. And then I'm able to reference the visuals that show up. Like I don't, I won't talk about the cat, but I'll just know that I'm talking about time or or sleeping or whatever it is I'm trying to do. And then I can kind of practice my script and move the time frames around with these graphics. For instance, if I grab the edge here, I can make this longer or shorter. So now it's about 7.8 seconds or to whatever. But I can move these around and kind of practice with that as I, you know, practice my my um, script, and then. I can record my script tomorrow, get that audio, and then fine tune all this to match up with the audio once I bring the audio in down here. But that's the first step, getting the graphics, my citations, and putting them all in line in the video editor. And when I'm done, I'll create the video, but I'm not done because I need to get the audio in step two.